You play to win the game. Hello? You play to win the game. You don't play to just play it. That's the great thing about sports. You play to win. And I don't care if you don't have any wins. You go play to win. When you start telling me it doesn't matter, then retire. Get out. Because it matters. Mm. Good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here, of course, with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Forgive me for enjoying this morning, uh, waking up with a victory after what was Monday from hell. After we lost again to the Baltimore Ravens, and then the Wednesday that was literally, I, I don't even want to, I, I don't want to even use the words of what it was, going on the Dan Salio show and doing the walk of shame for the Cowboys, and then going into uncertainty against the New York Giants, because we literally, after the first couple of games, you, you looked, th this was our team. Well, what happened was that second game, we got our ass kicked, or the second half. We just got our ass totally kicked. We couldn't do diddly, poo offensively. We couldn't make a first down. We couldn't run the ball. We didn't try to run the ball. We couldn't complete a pass. We sucked. The second half, we sucked. We couldn't stop the run. Every time they got the ball, they went down and got points. We got our ass totally kicked in the second half. That's what it boiled down to. It was a horse performance in the second half. Horse I'm totally embarrassed and totally ashamed. Coaching, all, we're all, all, our coaching did a horrible job. The players did a horrible job. We got our ass kicked in that second half. It sucked. It stunk. Now, getting a win is key. Now, we got Micah Parsons, who looks to have a high ankle sprain, which is a negative, but at least we have a few extra days, and we'll get to Micah Parsons in a minute. Um, when you are Joe the fan like I am, and you're in the middle of a game and things, you look at things and you see things and you're pissed off and you say, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks. But then when you take a look back and you go back and look at some of the things that happened in the situations, then you realize maybe some of the things that you had thought were wrong may not be have been as much of a problem as you thought. Um, by all means, do, do we look at this and say everything is cured for the Dallas Cowboys because we got to win? Well, we were a team that desperately needed a win getting ready to go through the stretch that we've got. We've got the Pittsburgh Steelers on the road in 10 days, so we've got to be ready for that. At least we get a little bit more rest. And by all means, uh, the fire Jerry Jones, uh, the GM, is still going. It's still going. That's right. And we have uh, several friends excuse me, shirts that we are giving away today that will be going out in the mail for you guys with the fire Jerry Jones uh, shirt. We still have problems, but what we realize is we got to have Dak and CD. It, the bottom line is this. If Dak and CD aren't firing, this team ain't going anywhere. That's We're, we're a one-trick pony. And that was clearly evident last night where they got – CD going early in this game, and, you know, once they did, we were able to kind of continue to move. Um, it drives me crazy because, you know, I'm getting Derek from Megabytes not to throw you under the bus, you know, because you are a genius when it comes to computers, but you don't know shit when it comes to NFL quarterbacks. Um, 
Dak Prescott was 81% in completions, two TDs, no interceptions. On the year, has six TDs uh, going to that game, leading the NFL in passing yards, and had a 125 QBR rating. Didn't turn over the football in a division game on a short week. That's what you want to get from your quarterback. You get a win, bottom line, in the NFL. This win doesn't count any different than any other win. It just goes down as a W. We have a lot to work on. Some of the tackling angles are, are bad. The tackling, we need to wrap up. Some of the fundamentals need work. But you have to look at this game and say the Dallas Cowboys, after being a disgrace where former Dallas Cowboys had to be rolling over in their grave, um, gave up 24 yards on 22 carries. Only 1.1 yard per carry. And as bad as people will say the offensive line was, and Tyler Guyton getting a couple penalties and giving up a sack, here's the thing that's kind of actually amazing, is last week this Giants defense got eight sacks. They only got one this week. So, you know, <clears throat> it's going to take time for this team to gel. We have a lot of young, new, working parts. All I can say is don't give up on the season just yet. Don't give up on the season just yet. There are reasons in this game to give you some hope. Okay? They ran the ball a little bit better. We got 85 yards rushing. It's not outstanding or anything, but it was a little bit better. Like I said, Cooper Beebe. Shout out to Cooper Beebe because Cooper Beebe um, gave up just three pressures. I'm sorry. So excuse me. Has allowed three pressures on 165 blocking snaps. Did not give up a single pressure last night, which is the second time he's done that this season. So you've got a budding star that's coming up in there. The defensive line, Mozzie Smith. That was clearly Mozzie Smith's best game, and dare I say, he was actually dominant. I know people are going to say, oh, you're so stupid. He had three tackles. He had a tackle for a loss and two solo tackles in the middle, and he was taking on the double teams like a grown-ass man. Now, on to Micah Parsons here, who, after the game, he had an x-ray that didn't show anything. He's going to have an MRI this morning, and it's believed to be a high ankle sprain, which is not good. We need more of a separation. We, we let them drive a little bit, a couple momentum things, get, you know, big plays that they were getting. Um, when you do that, we need to rush better. We got to do a lot of things, but um, it was a good start. We're just, we're just not satisfied. Yeah, we got this one. was a relief. Yeah, you know, I told you, uh, winning is important. It's hard to do in this league. So, you know, edge it out a 2015 win. But it wasn't perfect, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm done scraping by. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to scrape by no more. I want legit wins. I want to win consistently. And uh, we got a tough matchup next week. Yeah, I'm going to try to get back for it. They only had one yard to carry. Just what was different about the run defense? Man, the mentality, right? Like I said, it's nothing, you know, the thing about football, yeah, they say it's X and O, but everything's about mentality. Set, resetting the line of scrimmage, toughness, dominating the man in front of you. You know, that's all football's about, and um, everyone locked in on that. You know what I'm saying? I told you we came in Sunday, but I told you, flashing is good. Let's do it consistently. You know, I mean, a team like that where there's a lot of chips, a lot of slides, a lot of running back help. You know, the running backs, I don't even think he released for a route unless it was a screen. I mean, you know, what I realize in this league, even the best get help. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, we, we'll create a better plan for idea that, of, you know, idea that I don't think we've seen a consistent running back, you know, tight end help that much. Uh, maybe chips on the outside, but I mean, I'm telling you, he was stepping up into B gaps, sliding our way. Um, you know, it was a good plan, but we got to create a better plan for it. What was the difference in stopping the run tonight compared to the previous two weeks? You know, I'm a shot at Mozzie, man. Mozzie was dominant, bro. Shout out I to mean, I, I told you Mozzie just keeps, keeps, and keeps just getting better and better and better. You know, I always tell him, it starts to end with him, and I told him, I said, this is how you're going to play. I'm make sure you get a massage every week. I made sure I had a nice massage today. He was like, I need it. I was like, I got you. So I, made sure, I said, I'm going to have a massage for you every week now. What happened in the first half? You had a problem with 
Um, which one? Yeah. yeah. Mozzie, that was him. <laughs> I'm talking good, but he almost took me out. You know what I'm saying? Just now, nah, I collided with Mozzie, and I just had a quick sting, and I was like, damn. And um, the the ref thought I was in concussion protocol. Yeah. You know, uh, right now I just iced it. You know, I know very little. I got an MRI tomorrow, and uh, I'm gonna try to get back next week. Last question here, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Clarence Hill, All City, Dallas. Uh, <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. Uh, we'll get to Dak later. Um, that was, uh, of course, Micah. Basically, we think that he has a high ankle sprain and hopefully we'll be back next week. So I'm not going to sugarcoat this and tell you that we're back, you know, we're ready to roll in the NFL, that we're the best team. I'm not going to say that. We have some issues, and we have actually some soul searching. And um, in some way, winning this game, it's huge to stay in the race, but then it also means that Jerry Jones will breathe a sigh of relief and not make a probably a move. And I think before the trade deadline of November 5th, the Cowboys need to get another weapon. They need to get another weapon, and we need to figure out if Dalvin Cook is going to help supplement this running game or not. And if he's not, look and say, maybe we do need to get somebody else in here. Um, I want to finish this off this morning. Uh, we've got to get ahead of this uh, the hurricane. We've got uh, some remnants of it that are going to be coming through. We've got 50-mile-an-hour wind gusts that are forecasted and uh, one to two inches of rain in a very short period of time and uh, do need to get on the road. But hear what they have to say this morning with the Cowboys after burying us all week. Oh, good God. Okay, so th there's Dak saying what he said, and there's Micah saying what he said, and I want to hear what Swagoo says. Here, here's where I'm going to begin it for you, Marcus. For, the, for those who are hoping the Cowboys are going to have a good season and, and be a legitimate team this year, and you obviously are one of those people, did you emerge from last night's victory feeling better or worse about their chances? Tonight did nothing. I mean, last night did nothing in regard to making you feel like the Dallas Cowboys are a legit contender. That was a sloppy game. Obviously, the penalties, yeah. the penalties probably are the story of the game. Free, when you think about course. how how many they had and how many the Giants had, but ultimately, G, like you don't walk away from that game saying that they took a step forward. Obviously, we know the state of the New York Giants and where they are as a football team, but more importantly. Like the expectation for Dallas to get a win is great. And people always say it, and Bart, go relate to this. When you have to resort to saying a win is a win after a game, you know you yeah. didn't play well. You know you didn't do something that you thought you were going to do coming into a game. And I think a lot of people walked away from that. I actually love Micah Parsons' honesty right there because in this league, you have to show an ability to dominate in some facet of the game. And I would like somebody to tell me, instead of telling me I'm negative Nancy, what phase did Dallas dominate in outside of Dak having a really efficient night? Um, it, it was nothing. It was a lot left to be desired last night, to be honest with you. I think it was more about who the Giants are than who the Cowboys are. Uh, Mr. Nancy or Swagoo. Their run defense was great. The longest <laughs> run the Giants had was five yards. Now, look, it wasn't Saquon Barkley. It was Devin Singletary, and things aren't perfect. But when you go week in, week out, Greeny, in the NFL season, you've got to plug holes. And to their credit, they stopped the run, and they did it consistently. And the last two weeks against the Saints, against the Ravens, they were getting gashed. So, again, I get the level of competition, but give them credit. A win is a win in the NFL on the road against a division opponent. That was marketably there better in terms of run defense. There you go, Bart. That, that, that is a, part, that is a participating <laughs> movie type of compliment right there. I mean, come on. They stopped the junior varsity run game, man. Five Grat yards was the longest run. Congratulations. You stopped the JV, man. Like, stop. You got the varsity coming in. You think you saw a run game last week. You're going to see the Pittsburgh Steelers that's going to be committed to the run and physicality and potentially without your two edge rushers, which means that you're going to have to blitz to be able to get pressure on the quarterback. So, I mean, listen, this 
a win's a win, and you better take it. You're lucky you got this one because next week and the week after that, it's going to be hard to get by. They're going to be underdogs in their next five games, at least according to our analytics. Swagoo mentioned the penalties, 11 penalties last night for the Cowboys for 89 yards. Who's right here? Mike's trying to shine a little bright light on all of this. Yeah. Uh, the players not so happy. Your, your take. I just wonder what Mike is talking about. When was the last time they scraped by? I mean, they got smoked the last two weeks. They right. beat up on the Browns in week one. They got smoked in the playoff game. Like, what, how can you be tired of something they don't do? Uh, that, that's what I didn't understand about that. Look, to me, it was a, it was a September Thursday night game, right? Like, all you want to do is get in, get out without any harm done. And unfortunately, toward the end of the game, we saw that there was there were some injuries uh, that they're going to have to work through. But yeah, if you're Dallas, you, 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 you check that one off. You get healthy, you get your extra days off, and you get ready for your next game because it was not the dominant performance that I expected them to have against the Giants. Uh, The penalties, it was a mess the whole way around. They barely ever had the ball. The Giants dominated time possession. You could tell they wanted to grind it out, keep the Dallas offense off the field. It might have worked if they'd been able to put it in the end zone even once, Uh, but they weren't, and and Dallas just comes away with an exhale, uh, right, and a victory they needed to get. The flags were definitely the theme. At one point, a tip of the cap to the great Al Michaels. The game is on Amazon, and he said, the refs are going to order some more flags from Amazon uh, because they, these ones have gotten so dirty over the course of the night. Yeah. But, but Swaggly, here's what, here, I'm going to play devil's advocate. This is just me, okay? You played okay. it. I, I defer to you. But this, if I'm a fan of the team, I'd rather hear Dak say what he said publicly, which is it's a Thursday night. Imagine what the world is saying this morning if they had lost that game to the Giants. It's a Thursday night road game in the division. Get the win. Get a mini buy. Get ourselves right and go forward with the rest of our season. Rather than, I got a lot, I'm not going to lie to you, Marcus. I'm getting a little tired of, 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 of Micah Parsons has something to say after every single game. I, I, I think if I were one of his teammates, there'd be a part of me that would want to say, you know what, you might want to give that a rest for a week. Do we won the game for crying out loud? Can we have one moment to feel okay about ourselves? That's how I think I would feel. How about you, Swagoo? Yeah, G, uh, the, like Bart said, the participation trophy feeling is all over the place now. We, we're, we're inundated with it. Michael Parsons know that that wasn't a good performance. Like, look, Dak has always been professional. He's the quarterback. He got to win. Dak played well, too. So it was that. But when you're looking at it through a different prism, especially coming off a week where you give up 200 plus yards rushing against the Baltimore Ravens and you couldn't stop anything and you come in with a Giants offense and we hear this all the time. It was a get right game. Look, I I hate, okay, this notion (laughs) that all competition is the same. We know damn well the Giants ain't a good football team. We know that they gonna have to make a lot of changes after this season to become more explosive. Malik Neighbors been there 12 hours and he's already the best (laughs) player on that team when it comes to what they do uh, offensively. So we know going into that, everybody expected Dallas to win, even coming off the Baltimore game. This league is going to get tremendously harder for them, like you, like we're talking about next week and the week after that and the week after that. Now, if you go to Pittsburgh, Mike Tannenbaum, and you stop them from dominating in the run game, then we can come on, get up, and me and you can have peaches and slushes and cheesecake and we could celebrate the fact that they got the run game fixed last night was not a true test of what you're going to face against these teams that's coming down the wire and and let's think about this too last thing we have to think about what the expectations were Mm -hmm. as opposed to how much we've lowered them now that we've seen dallas play the two weeks prior to playing against the new york giants we were not talking about this team being just some middle of the pack regular team I, I like cherry slushes, so just have that ready a week from Monday. Because slushes, cheesecake, what was the other? Yeah, yeah. Peaches. Peaches. Yeah, a fascinating yeah. combination of what food you just mentioned. Yeah. No. I, I thought he would say king yeah. cake because we have that Sweets. Louisiana connection. But I will say this Sweets. in all seriousness. <laughs> they will take away, Mike Zimmer will take away Pittsburgh's run game, much the way what we saw last night. Now, look, yeah. I know how? Pittsburgh. How? They're going to commit eight people to uh, uh, stopping the run. And what the, he's going to say is, Justin Fields, you're going to have to beat us from the pocket. He's played better this year, and if we lose to the Steelers, that's going to be the game plan. So at least uh-uh. Mike Zimmer's getting that side of the ball better. Again, the level of competition is the same, not the same. 
they will play better against Pittsburgh than they did against Can you New Orleans that? or Baltimore. The, the, Can you the Giants, that? they'll have extra rest. The Giants yeah. last night had 24 rushing plays and they had 26 rushing yards. Look, so that's obviously domination against, uh, admittedly, a very bad team. The, the, the other side of it is the Cowboys were outgained in the game. The Giants actually gained more yardage right. on the night than the Cowboys did. On the Cowboys the barely had more. the ball. Right. That's the yeah. point. Quick final thought. Well, I'm just saying, like, like they, they were run over in the run game the last two weeks. So it, three days to prepare for a game. Thank you're going to you. focus on what? We can't be, get beaten to run, and we can't let Malik Neighbors blow the game up on us. He had a bunch of catches, but he didn't yeah. have the explosive downfield play, except for that first one when the Listen, guy fell down. You can't you can't get confident against Glass Joe when you got Ball Bull coming up in a couple of weeks, man. Like, <laughs> but you got to beat Glass Joe to get there. So they did it. But, but I'm not going to get Check the con- box. Move on. No, Survive this, in advance. It is cause for concern. Okay. You're playing down to the well, level you of your competition. They had one yard per carry. Why is that cause for concern? We'll talk more about this. Chris Canty is going to come in we will all right we'll leave it right there and here's what i say okay i know listen without a doubt the cowboys need another weapon okay we need help in the running game or we're gonna have to figure out a way to manufacture more runs um dak did good cd lamb did good the offensive line we got flagged too many damn times and we have some work to do the defensive line, you know, showed up. Mozzie Smith was living in the backfield um, this game. Maybe the switch has come on. He was dominant yesterday, which is, I know it was against a bad team, but you've got to build some confidence. And on a short week, when you don't have much time to get your body ready and to prepare, the Cowboys did a good job, and they did exactly what you're supposed to do. 13 games in a row against the New York Giants with Dak Prescott at the helm. Now you got some time to regroup, hopefully get some people a little bit healthier. Hopefully uh, Mike is not hurt real bad. And you have enough time to game plan against um, the Steelers. And then we'll see what we'll see. As always, I appreciate you guys. And um, we will definitely be talking a whole lot more. What a difference a day makes. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, my new way can't take back here. And so, before we start this video, I gotta get this mother humping thing out of the way.